Welcome back to my channel. My name is Daisha. I am the owner of PGL Planners and this is my YouTube channel where we do everything faith and planning and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to stay updated on all things new. And hello, welcome. I'm so excited to be getting into this. I don't know, my phone automatically just turned on the, um, what do you call it? the uh, flash. So we're gonna be using the flash today, I guess. And I'm gonna plug this in because my computer is clearly dying. Not my computer, my tablet. And we're gonna pop right into my planner. I just got finished filming the Penley video and I'm blown away. I cannot believe how well that app runs and the updates that he made with the app are phenomenal so well done i forgot to turn that 3d page flip off but anyways so i decided not to do an etsy launch this time go round because i'm working on the new planner i did write some blessings in here but you guys there's some wonderful things. I can't write them in here with you all right now because there are some surprises um, to come. So we'll wait on that. But it's just been phenomenal. Uh, I forgot what I was talking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is why I do voiceovers now more than ever. Um, my brain is just like shut down. There we go. All right, we're gonna plan for our week in here. Um, but yeah, the 2025 planner that's what I was talking about is so, I've been working on that nonstop and it is just so good. I'm literally blown away with how well it is done. And so I'm actually gonna, before I start putting my stickers and things like that, I'm gonna write in what's gonna be going on this week because my kiddos got sick, which kind of threw me off a little bit from my schedule. I'm not going to lie about that. And so tomorrow, Sunday, I need my little flower, not my flowers, my little hearts. Let me put it over here. That'll make it better. Oops. And let me turn this down. But yeah. So that kind of threw me off schedule a little bit, but I'm still working. I did find October's goodies yesterday night, and oh my goodness, so pretty. So next week I'm going to be working on the box all the way up until launch, and then I'm going to take a little mini break, and then I'm going to get back into the planner. But she currently has all of her weeks and months done. I'm working on templates right now, and then I'm going to be doing some other things in her. I want to add some more stuff. Like I told the ladies, this is going to be more of like your ultimate PGL planner. It's going to have all the things, all the goodies, all the stuff, which really makes me excited because, yeah, and I was going to do two planners. I was going to do one that's kind of an empty shell, but the sizing of this planner is very promising and I think we'll be able to do better with the megabytes kind of sizing. This planner wasn't large, but after a full year of using her and putting all the goodies in there and whatnot, it did grow in size substantially. I lost mine, it, I did not back mine up, but in general, so <laughs> we're gonna talk about that. But I did get the sizing down substantially, so this uh, 2025 planner is going to be the only one I'm going to do and it's going to be done where you can use it and if you find me like mid-year you'll still be able to use it because of the way that I'm doing it so it won't be like oh I've missed so many months though I, I can't use this planner because I don't make mid-year planners so yeah I'm really excited really really excited so anyways tomorrow I'm going to be filming in the morning hopefully it'll be sunnier my patron spread because right now it's raining and lighting is really just crazy so patron spread tomorrow and then I am gonna work some more on the 2025 planner 
just because I'm really enjoying myself with it, I'm putting a lot of love into it, and then I'm going to rest because I have to recuperate. And then on the other side of things, at 3 p.m., my time, we have our book club meeting. And then I need to email back this situation it's so exciting oh my gosh I cannot but I'm going to email them back I'm just gonna put email them back with details and then I need so this will be Monday I need to if I'm gonna be deep cleaning my house this is the time I'm starting with October's box and it'll probably be done in the evening and I'm gonna do the decor Um, I can, I did not, I did not pick the patterns. I'm just now realizing that I need to pick patterns. This will swap with this. So I'm going to actually do this because I'll do the decor after I've picked the patterns. And then I need to map out like the product list. I always map out what's going to go in the box. And if I ever finish early and I have more time, I add more things to the box later. Also, what we're not going to do is talk about my nails. My kids have been sick. So, yeah, my nails look terrible right now. And this lighting is not really making them look any better. But mom life. Um, I've been bleaching and cleaning and disinfecting and all of the things. So, yeah, we're not going to talk about me right now. Um, but, yeah, map out products for box and then I joined the Crossway review pro uh, partnership program where you can review products from Crossway and so I did order a book that's going to be sent to me they're sending it to me in like two weeks and so I want to do some work on like kind of getting an idea of what it's about and making kind of like a little bit of a flyer to share with like everyone, YouTube, Instagram and whatnot. So I need to do like some crossway like review product images and stuff like that because it's over a topic. The book that I chose is over a topic that I feel like is very relevant and I would like to be able to do the review in a way where it's like you can join in as well, maybe purchase the book also. I won't be getting any money back from that. This is just literally because the topic is really cool. I will only be receiving the book for free. But I'm going to do that, uh, like product images, and just doing my homework over the book because I would like to be able to share that with you all. Um, but then after that, it will be October box. And then I need to plan my next AA video for Artful Agenda. Because I have some ideas for that, which I'm really excited about. And then after that, it's really just still going to be the box. But if I can, I want to brainstorm some more ideas for just a few more templates for the planner. And then the next day, what I want to do is I want to start gathering boxes from the previous year that I want to put in Etsy. So I need to make a list. that I'm gonna sell on Etsy for sure. Um, because yeah, they're, they're wonderful boxes and they're just wasting away in the drop box. I'm not gonna sell the whole box, but the sticker books are the one thing that I spend the most time on because organizing, cropping, organizing, all of those things, compressing, like all of that takes a really long time. So if 
I can sell them to people who want them, that would be great, especially since I have to do it twice over for Samsung and for good notes. So it takes a lot of time, you know, it's like one of those things. Um, so definitely selling those. And then after that, it will be October box again. I was about to put again on here. <laughs> and then at this point, we're almost, we're halfway through the week. So October box, and then what can I do? I need to do something. I need to make the challenge cards. Because by then the vote should be almost clear on what the next faith challenge is for the Discord. And then after that, I think I can kind of rest a little bit because I try to take I try to take some time to breathe I need to make a reel I've been doing better on Instagram a little bit there and TikTok and YouTube I've been trying to do some posts of just random things like while I'm working like if it looks cute just take a picture of it Daisha put a few things with it it's not going to kill you or so I'm going to put or some social media piece future me is probably going to roll her eyes at this but I need to do it because it does help people find me and I, I really I'm biting myself in my foot if I don't do this so a social media situation let me make sure yeah it's on um so social media and then I need I had something else on my brain other than this and I'm really upset because I can't remember it um that's okay October box And then I'm going to leave that blank because I need to see what the dates are with this. I'm making this list, but I don't know what the dates are. So let's go ahead and bring in some stickers. And um, let's see here. Also, if you're really interested in the case that I have on my iPad right now, it is on my Amazon storefront. <clears throat> I did get some questions in some older videos. I did try to go back and update the description box in some of my previous videos but the link tree is up to date so the affiliate link stuff all of that that if you want to help the channel without having to maybe buy one of my products all of that's in there um, my Amazon storefront is in there my Etsy everything's there so if there's anything you see in my video and you have a question about it's more than likely going to be in those locations so today's the 14th tomorrow's the 15th which is exciting because Go Go Town, one of the games that I can play now, it has an update. I didn't tell you guys, I haven't spoken to you all in so long, but I did delete all of the games that I was fasting from um, during my fast. So if you weren't in the paid portion of the Discord, you didn't really get to hear me talk about this, but I'll talk about it really quickly. I was playing a lot of games that were not of the Lord. And... Um, it's really sad, really embarrassing. <laughs> I shared all of this stuff with people like, you should play DDV and you should play this game and stuff. And it had a lot of things that weren't pleasing to the Lord. And he wasn't telling me to fast from gaming. He was telling me to delete the games that I was playing. And I was acting like I didn't know that. You know when you have to do something and you know you have to do it because conviction and it's wrong and it's not biblically sound, but your flesh is like, please, so that was what that was for me but i did find through the lord's help a lot of games that i actually can play and that i enjoy so much and so one of them has an update tomorrow which i'm really excited about um and i am going to allow myself some time to play it in the evening after i work um <clears throat> but yeah so that is really cool i'm super excited about that <laughs> super excited about it um, <clears throat> my throat is like kind of doing a thing. I'm like, please don't let me get sick. Um, I've been taking care of my kids and my husband. And so normally, I don't know if it's like this for you guys in your house, but, um, everyone gets sick and mommy takes care of everybody. And then when everyone feels better, mommy starts to get sick. That's kind of what happens in my household. So I'm like, I feel my body like for the past few days, I felt it trying to do it. But because I've been eating really clean and I've been taking a lot of vitamin C and a lot of vitamins in itself and just like 
fruit and what have you, I feel like my body's doing a really good job at fighting it. So I am going to get to bed earlier today and just rest. That way I can avoid getting sick. But I told my daughter, I was like, it's a good thing you are sick now versus your birthday week, which is next week. So um, anywho, the funny thing about it, I brought up the games because last night, outside of like the update, last night, or this morning actually, I was kind of in and out of sleep. And I, I heard the enemy talking to me, y'all. I kid you not, audibly. You can play DDV. There's no witchcraft in DDV. You can play DDV. Like, there's nothing in there um, that you shouldn't be, like, playing, et cetera. And I'm like, wait a minute. Like, I knew, and I felt my spirit, because, you know, the spirit's always willing. It's the flesh that gives you the trouble. I felt my spirit telling that thing, like, no, there is witchcraft in DDV. I cannot play that game anymore. And it was like, wa like in my mind, I was walking through my valley, and I was fully, like, I was awake, but I wasn't. I was walking through my valley and it was like showing me my decorations and it was like you know you miss the characters you should just download it again you own the game you've spent this money go ahead and download it like the enemy is so wild because the moment I deleted all the games things that I have been trying to do for PGL for the longest got put on hold once I deleted it the doors open I got emails back which is why I'm super excited about certain things that I've been wanting to do that will help my family financially the crossway program finally responded to me and okayed my application I was able to order that book like so many doors opened up the moment I did that and I was just like yeah the enemy's funny really trying to get in my head like download that game again girl you know you want to play it like no get behind me Satan <laughs> like uh, Jesus said to Peter <laughs> Oh, let me chill out. Anyways, so that's Thursday. That's the 19th. So let me see. If I just focus on the October box that day, I would actually be pretty thrilled because I need to, seeing that this is the 20th. And so at this point, I need to pick out freebies. And I think I'm going to do two freebies moving forward. I think I'm going to do a freebie for the free channels for like the free group and a freebie for the Bethlehem tier on up to Garden of Eden. That way Garden of Eden and Bethlehem will get two freebies a month versus the one. The free freebie will be smaller than the freebie that I give for the paid because normally for the paid I give like some pretty solid freebies. Like this month their freebie was this really cute gorgeous clips great quality super crisp so nice absolutely adorable accessories so yeah like the freebies be jumping y'all but i'm gonna do two and then i need to like go ahead and pick out the newsletter I am going to go ahead and add in when I'm, where I'm going to be reading the book for this month because we had our meeting for the Heartless book pushed back. I'm going to finish that book tonight, and then I'm going to start the other book probably tomorrow evening. I think hopefully there's an audio book for it. If there is, I can work on the box and listen to it. So October box for sure. I need to be wrapping it up. Like I'm going to put wrap up here. And then, hmm, I want to do, I want to do Galatians if I can. So I'm going to put it on here twice in case I'm able to go ahead and do the notes for it. And then I'm going to put it on here again. Like I said, I'm going to put it on here twice. Galatians 4, because we're almost done. And I'm like slapping myself in my face. I think I did do number four and I'm on five. I can't remember. I need to look. I'm going to put October wrap up here again, because at this point, like I said, I need to be wrapping up whatever it is for the box. And I think Liz is going to help me with the Samsung note sticker sheet this month, which will really be helpful. It'll cut some of the task in half. So I'm going to reach out to her. I have so much stuff going on in my brain, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm like talking out loud. I'm, I'm planning my week legit. Like this is how it really works. And then I normally pop a voiceover over it. But I thought, it's been a while. 
I haven't filmed anything in forever. Let's do real time, chatty, let's get it together kind of thing. So October box wrap up. And if I can get a social media post out today, that would be great. Well, on this day. And the reason why I want to wrap the box up earlier is because my daughter's birthday is on the 23rd, but we're going to celebrate it on the 22nd and the 23rd, which is around the time that I normally do the unboxing and all of the things. So I want to do all of it in advance. So it's another reason why I didn't do an Etsy launch. I was going to try to do one, but I wanted to focus on the, bo uh, the box and the planner without like overdoing it. So definitely this, I need to plan out any patron plan with me's patron plan with me's oops um as far as the patron spreads are concerned i need to go ahead and get that sorted and any youtube videos need to be filmed all right so that's my week planned out as far as like each of the things that i want to do and that list is pretty standard. Like, I'm probably not going to be doing anything else. So the rest of this will just be decor. So let's go ahead and do that. I love being able to use things like this, the little uh, vellum papers. And so what we're going to do is do these because they're pretty decorated, which makes it look like I've decorated more than I have. So I'm going to do this. This is what I was talking about with the Pinley video. I do wish that like, um, instead of like having to pin the menu options off to the side over here, cause you can kind of organize this menu to have the things that you want. If instead it could be like in Pinley where the little menu pops up, that would be super awesome. But you know, I love me some uh, Zoom notes and I am not switching. <laughs> I love Zoom notes so much. There we go. I love me some Zoom notes, but I'm very, very proud of Pinley. I am so impressed because when I opened my shop, Pinley was still in beta for the actual app itself. And I literally was so thrilled. It was the reason why I chose to do Android digital planning over my iPad digital planning. And it's so funny, like had it not been for Pinley, I wouldn't have done that. That's why I think I have a little bit more patience with that app and I'm a little bit nicer to it because it did help my career out so much with my business. It's a beautiful app and it's nothing to, you know, like, it's just one of those things, it's nothing to look over. I don't think that's the sentence I'm trying to say, I'm tired. Um, <laughs> look, my kids have been sick and I'm sleepy. I need to lay down so I don't get sick, but yeah, it's one of those apps you don't want to overlook just because you think, oh, it's simple, it doesn't have, the features I'm looking for. No, it has a lot of features now. They are jam packed. So it is definitely worth looking into for digital planning, like definitely without a doubt. I'm gonna pop this over here. The little twin bunnies, so cute. And then let's go to the sticker book. I love September's uh, box. I really do. I love how cute this is. It just feels really, really adorable. I'm gonna put appointment, even though it's an email situation, I need to email these people back and I need to actually come up with a plan on what it is they asked me. Like, it's one of those things where the ball is in my court and I need to like, kind of write out a game plan. So I'm gonna put write out a game plan because I really do need to kind of, before I send out that email, decide and pray over all of that, like what I need to do. And then we have book club meeting, which I did put, but I'm gonna put a sticker for it just because I have the little book club sticker here. And so I'm gonna put this like this and I'm gonna go grab a book because we do have some books in here. I'm gonna put this here. and like the little glasses underneath, super cute. Um, I'm gonna put the little stack of books here. And then I'm probably gonna put like the apple next to the stack. 
because that's just super cute. Probably on this line. No, further down. There we go. And let me see what else can we put here. We can definitely do a verse card. I love widgets that have verses on them because one, it just makes planning easier, but two, it gives you something that you can read throughout the week to kind of remind you of something. So this one is Romans 15, 13. It says, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope, which is such a blessing. You want to be filled with hope for the Lord. It's just, I love, I love, I love it. I love, love, love it. This is so super cute. Let's see, what else do we want to put over here? I'm not going to be tracking my food. The week is going to be way too busy for me to be messing around with that. Um, and so I'm just going to put like a summarize situation of the week down here with like maybe a border separating it so it doesn't look so, oops, so stacked, if you will. Let's put, let's put a little border. <laughs> Oh man, um, let's see. Let's do this one. I'm loving these borders, so we definitely gotta have them moving forward because you can really do so much with them, like stuff like that, super, super cute. And for the week, so this is box week, 2025 planner still, because I am still gonna do some of it artful agenda week because I'm going to film another video for that admin because emails and book club because we do have a book club meeting and that'll be a wrap up for that and yeah that is my week this week that is my plan in a nutshell. So I hope you all enjoyed this plan with me. I know it's been a while since I have filmed one and whatnot. I do want to do a Zoom notes video probably midweek or probably next weekend, depending on how everything flows and how my kids are feeling. But it'll basically be covering all of the all of my favorite features from Zoom notes that I actually use for digital planning because this app is probably one of the most if not the most robust planning app Colin notes coming up on its uh its tail a little bit there with the features that Colin note has going on it definitely is more robust in the amount of features but zoom notes has a lot going on too and there are a lot of features that i simply don't use for digital planning and i want to share the features that i do use why they're my favorite, that kind of thing. So I do want to do a video for that because I think it is well overdue. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this live, uh, real not live, but this real time plan with me, very chatty, just catching up with each other and whatnot. And I will chit chat with you all later. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on all things new. And I will chit chat with you soon. Bye.